Hello everybody, I'm going to do a haul today, it's not a very big one, I've only got a few bits um, that are like worth showing you really, so I'm just going to do that. Um, excuse the take of me, I went on night out last night and I'm so tired now. Um, I always think, oh, after night I can have a nice lie in, but I can never do. Does anyone else get that, that when they've been out for a night and then you go to bed late that you can't sleep in. I always like wake up really early and then I just have to get up so I'm like what's the point of just laying in bed? I know I'm not gonna go back to sleep. So yeah, I do apologise but um it's a really bright day so I've got lots of light so I just wanted to get this video done. Um the first thing I'm gonna quickly show you is the Cosmopolitan magazine. It's the one with um Holly Willoughby on it and it's the April one and it costs £3.50 and the reason I brought this, I do sometimes buy it, I don't, I'm not the um, one that like, I always buy this magazine, it just, if something I see on it interests me then I will, if it don't then I won't bother buying it. But I brought it this month because um, it came with some um, Clinique like samples, so that's the reason I got this. I actually bought two of them because I wanted two of the bits. There's four bits you can that's not four, that's there's four bits you can collect. And the two bits that I got, you could get a um mascara, a um moisturizer, a lip gloss, and an exfoliating cream, I think. Um I wasn't bothered about the lip gloss, I didn't wasn't really in, like bothered about getting that. And exfoliating cream, I wasn't really that interested either because I've already got like exfoliators and stuff. So the ones I got were the Clinique Moisture Surge and um, it's got extended for thirst relief and it says use whenever, wherever needed or under or over makeup or as a five minute moisture mask or over makeup. Oh, I've only used it under, I've not used it over. It smells quite nice just smells oh, that really fresh cream smell that I really love that smell that's really fresh and so it just looks just like that um, I'm not really sure how you would it just come goes on clear I'm not really sure how you'd use that over makeup because I don't like the idea of rubbing my makeup into my skin I don't know um, but I do find that it, it is quite a nice moisturizer actually um, it does leave like your skin feeling really soft. It is, it is a really good moisturiser, like just my hand just feels really soft now, just for rubbing that little bit in. It does feel, and you can feel the difference as well, like feeling there and then feeling there. It does feel really different. So, it is a really good one. And then the next one I got was the mascara. I've never had a clinic mascara, so that's why I thought I'd try a sample of it and it is the high impact mascara and it's in black and it's what the brush looks like so you can see it's a really nice brush i don't think it's too big and it's not sort of too small i just think it's like a really nice size brush and obviously you can see it's like um like the bristle brush it's not the um like the plastic ones, do you know what I mean? Like the little plastic brush, it is like a bristle one. And I have actually used this and I do actually find it quite a good mascara. Um, I don't feel it does anything different to the other mascaras I've got really, but I did find that it did make my lashes look nice and yeah but I, I don't feel that it was anything like wow my gosh it's really transformed my eyes or anything like that I just found that it just was a good mascara I would recommend it because it is a good mascara but um yeah I didn't find it anything like amazing like high impact mascara I don't know I've, I have only used it twice so maybe if I use it a little bit more and see how it goes like that but like I say from the two times that I have used it I didn't find that it did anything amazing but if I stick with it and like do a few more coats things like that then maybe I will 
so that's what I just want to share with you in case like you were interested in some like clinic examples and things like that. Um, so it's the April um, edition of the magazine. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that. I also then got some stigma brushes. And first of all, um, I've ordered from them. I think this is my fourth time, I think, from ordering from them I think or is it my third third or fourth time it's a few times I've ordered with them and um I've never ever ever had to pay um like is it custom charges or yes yeah, it is custom charges isn't it yeah I think it is I don't think I'm making myself look stupid yeah I think it's, it's custom charges um but I did this time and I don't understand why because I ordered less than what I've ordered previously when I've never had to pay it so I don't I don't know I just I was a bit like oh okay so these brushes these three brushes ended up being really expensive um I had a coupon code for them so I used that and I think I then paid it out to about I don't know if it was like 30 pounds or something like that then had to pay um shipping like from America over to here and I can't remember how much that was. I don't know if that was about £10. Because I was like, that's £40. And I was like, do I really want to spend £40 on these brushes? But I really wanted them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then the custom charges came in. And I had to pay another £12. I think it was like £12.49 or something. I was like, for three brushes. It was, they, the package wasn't even that heavy. But they said that um, the charge was, I think, four pound or something like that and then it added on like an eight pound handling fee i was like really what just for weighing my package so i was like oh for god's sake so yeah so i ended up paying like i needed 50 pound for these free brushes so i was a bit like oh, i thought that was just a little bit of a rip off really so i wasn't very impressed with that like i said i've never had to pay it before let me know has anyone else ever had to pay custom charges for them so just let me know like have you ever done that I did ask the lady at the post office when I picked up my package I said to her like I've never had to pay it with them like why why this time and it's like less weight she said um she said that they do like spot checks or something they don't generally like seem to weigh like every package that comes in they just do like spot checks and she said obviously they've spot checked like your like lot that your package came in so I was like, oh right, that's why then. Because there was also another package with or from Sigma that someone else had ordered from my area where I live. And that had also had custom charges on. That was more than mine. So she said, like, it's obviously the crate or whatever your package came in has obviously been spot checked and that's why they've done it. So I was like, oh right, okay. So anyway, after my rant there, um, these are the brushes I've got. I've got the um, small tapered blending brush, the E45, um, just looks like this, and I say it's the, I don't know if that's going to focus because it's shiny, oh, it's the E45 anyway, it looks like this, and I just wanted this just for like blending in the crease and things, so, and also I like using this for like the inner corner and sometimes for like concealer under the eyes, I think it's a really good brush just to like, in so um i do have one of them so that's why i wanted another one because it's such like a versatile brush because as i've said in my videos i don't clean my brushes every time after i've used them which i know i'm naughty so i wanted another one like a backup i've then wanted this brush for ages and every time i went on the website it was always out of stock so when i saw one there i was like i'm just gonna buy it it's the tapered face brush the um, F25 and it just looks like this and it's really really soft like it's just really really soft it just looks like that and I just want it for like contour under the chin like that so that's what I wanted that for and I then got um, in my I think it's my purple and brown makeup look um, I showed you the eyeliner, the eyeliner brush, the E05 one. Like I said, it was amazing for doing eyeliner. And oh, it just looks like this. And I've got a one, I've got another one of these. But um, 
again like I say I don't clean my brushes all the time so I wanted one for my brown eyeliner I've got so I've got this as well and I'm telling you this brush for eyeliner is amazing I was never I never ever could do eyeliner I just don't have a steady enough hand and then I tried this brush and it's just amazing I just literally just go like, and it's done so if you have trouble with eyeliner try one of these brushes with it because it's really really good so that was what I've got so like I say these three brushes oh and obviously you get your little sample brush I got the blending E25 brush which I've got about three of these anyway and that's my little sample um yeah so like I say these brushes three brushes ended up costing me like 50 pounds I was not happy so does anyone know anywhere in the UK where you can buy like obviously like authentic stigma brush sigma brushes um yeah just let me know is there anywhere that people buy them in the uk because i can't seem to find anywhere so if anyone does can you let me know so i don't have to pay like 50 pound again um my next i've only got two other bits so um no more ranting now um, my next two bits are from style picks it's a website and um i only signed up with them because cheryl cole did her shoe collection um, on there and um, I quite like Cheryl Cole I have to admit I think she is really pretty and I love her clothes and things um, so when she did her shoe collection I just signed up just to have a look at them and I saw these pair of shoes I was like I really really like them but they were quite expensive so I was like I'm not paying that for like these pair of shoes so um, I I kept looking at them and I was like no I'm not going to buy them so I was like no I'm not going to pay that much and then I got an email saying that all of them are 20% off so I saved like obviously some money on them and this is the first thing I've ever brought from Style Picks and I've got to admit I am impressed the packaging is just like really really great um, a little bit over the top but considering you didn't actually pay for the packaging I like, didn't pay for the postage, postage and packaging. That was free because I chose. Um, there was one where you can have next day, or this one that I think it's like two to five working days, and you don't pay for it. I was like, that's fine. I'll just have that. So considering I didn't pay for it, the packaging I was like pretty impressed with. It came in a massive cardboard box, and it came in this huge like gift bag with like style pics written on it that it's like huge huge bag like massive so i was really really like impressed with that i was like wow that's so so great i know i'm just a sucker for packaging it's really bad and then i didn't just buy the shoes i bought a bag as well that's why the bag is so big i assume this is the box the shoes came in and it was tied with like a big pink ribbon and i threw the ribbon away i should have took a photo of it really this is box and it had a big pink ribbon tied on it and it had like a um, little tag attached to it saying like from Cheryl Cole and you get your returns thing with it and let's, oh, I've got enough room here and I'll show you the shoes the, I'll show you what they came packaged so I left one wrapped up you see this is how it came packaged and it's obviously got like the Cheryl Cole um, signature on it so I was pretty impressed with the packaging they came like this all wrapped up both of them I got like a little card and it had your receipt in it and stuff and then it had a picture of what you brought as well that was the tag it came with on the bow just came with that and these are the shoes it's just a pair of boots and they're like suede it's got a little toggle and then inside we've got sheepskin it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom the bottom is just like a normal sole but they've just got sheepskin so they've got the toggle these are a size four but i think they look quite big for a size four and they are quite they are a little bit big for me but because i've got wide feet i don't want to send them back to get a three because they're not like overly wide and because i do have wide feet i'm just going to stick with a four and get like an inner sole or something so they were my shoes from Cheryl Cole well not from Cheryl Cole but I wished <laughs> but um yeah that's from her collection she had some really nice heels but I was like I'd actually break my neck if I tried to walk in them so they also do this is like a tan colour but they also do 
some like really dark brown ones and I was really unsure what to get but I just went for these ones and I just think they'll look nice with like skinny jeans tucked in or some like leggings or something I just really like them so they were my shoes you then got like a free gift it came in this bag I was like oh what's this and yeah it does look a little bit cheap but they, they just send you like say thank you for shopping with them and it's just a little ring I'll just put it on it's like adjustable size and it just looks like that and yeah it does look a little bit cheapish but I just I was like well was it? I just thought it was a nice touch it's a nice little thing I just thought oh, that's quite sweet to like, put that in I know it probably doesn't cost a lot but I was like well it's still thought it counts isn't it so I was quite impressed with that and there oh I'm running out of room here <laughs> and then this is the bag I got. It came in this separate bag. Got style picture written on it. And this is the bag that I got. And it comes with like a long handle and the little handle to carry. And it's a sat I think it's called a satchel. It looks like that. And to open it, you pull this out. And open it like that, and then it's got a zip in it. You open the zip, and it's just like that inside. It's got a little bit for your phone or any other bits. It's also got a separate little zip bit as well, and that's all that's in there. There's not loads of compartments, which I like in bags. I don't like all these like little compartments and everything because. I just, I get lost with everything. I'm like, oh, what one did I put that in? And it's just literally like an open bag. So that is what I prefer with bags. So, and then obviously, if I do it back up, yeah, I don't know if I could do it. Oh, I wouldn't know, because it's empty, so it's really light. Put that back on there, and just put that back in there, and then it's locked. And you can take this big handle off. It's got the clips. You can take it off. And that's got a little pattern, a bit of a, like a pleated pattern thing there. So that was the other bag I got. The other bag, the only bag I got even. So that was the bag, which I quite like it. The only thing, I think that's going to be a little bit annoying if you're like in a rush and you like try to get that off. But I just think it's quite, it's different. So yeah, that's the bag. And that's everything. That's my haul really. Um... I say I didn't want I haven't really got anything else that's sort of worth showing it's just like little bits really so just thought I'd show you that anyway that's my video um it's gone on far much longer than I wanted it to um so yeah again let me know signal brushes is there anywhere in the UK where you can buy them like the whole range of them not just like oh you can get one here we can get one there is there one where anywhere with like the whole range where you can buy them if there isn't, Sigma really need to do a UK place where they sell them. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's anywhere you can buy them in the UK or where you buy them. Um, yeah, so thank you again for watching. Um, I hope everyone's having a nice week. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you, bye.